So far, neither the SETI project nor any other scientific program has provided definitive proof that extraterrestrial life exists. But the existence of aliens has been speculated since the days of ancient Greece. Just as the philosopher Metrodorus of Chios said in the 4th century before Christ, to regard the Earth as the only populated world in the infinite universe is as absurd as the statement on a whole, with millet sown field only one grain would grow. Mankind is a genuine new development and is just 300,000 years old, whereas life on Earth can already look back on 3.8 billion years, and multicellular organisms have also existed for at least 700 million years. For millions of years, the dinosaurs dominated the Earth, and it was only when they died out that the mammals got their chance. Besides life on the Earth, there could also be, on the other bodies of our solar system, simple extraterrestrial life. Therefore, even according to pessimistic estimates, there should be numerous extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way, most of which would be thousands if not millions of years more advanced than we are, something that we've already discussed in our video about the Kardashev scale. Nuclear physicist Enrico Fermi, 1901-1954, formulated the paradox named after him in 1950, according to legend, while having lunch with colleagues at Los Alamos Laboratory. If there are aliens everywhere, where are they? Even just one intelligent species could colonize the entire Milky Way galaxy within a few hundred million years, just a fraction of the age of our galaxy, with rocket technology that can reach a cruising speed of just 1% of the speed of light. The fastest human-built object is NASA's solar probe. In July 1973, MIT astrophysicist John A. Ball, 1935 to 2019, published a hypothesis in the scientific journal Icarus that caused quite a stir and provided an answer to the Fermi paradox. Today, this is known as the zoo hypothesis, whereby a wildlife sanctuary would be the more suitable designation. According to this hypothesis, there are numerous intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way who know of our existence, but because of our primitiveness, they prefer to give us a wide berth so as not to influence our civilizational development and natural evolution, since the contact with an extraterrestrial civilization would mean enormous upheaval both politically, religiously, and culturally, as illustrated in Earth history, for example, the landing of the Spanish in Latin America. The aliens could thus have something like the prime directive from Star Trek to not interfere with the natural development of other less developed civilizations unless they reach a specific technological or socio-cultural threshold. Finally, at planetary protection, we also try to disinfect probes to other planets in order not to contaminate them with terrestrial microbes, but also to protect the Earth from the possible contamination by alien microbes or bioactive molecules. In addition, there is the laboratory hypothesis, where humanity is being subjected to experiments, with Earth being a giant laboratory. According to this hypothesis, extraterrestrials would deliberately visit Earth and abuse individual inhabitants of Earth for experiments, as well as observe the development of humanity, but would not make themselves known to the majority. What's your opinion? Write it in the comments.